Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today on the homestead, we are gonna be doing a little mechanical work. We're gonna be replacing the brakes on my wife's 2004 Lexus RX 330. It's always good to know, if you wanna be self-sufficient, how to do mechanical work. So stay with us. As always, we are going to just be using some common hand tools to get the job done. All right, first things first, let's get the car jacked up. Make sure you always use jack stands and I also leave the jack underneath for some added extra safety. Our next step is to obviously take the tire off. So an easy way to get to your uh, brake caliper is to rotate out your tire in the direction that you need it so you have easy access to that caliper. Just turn your wheel as far as it'll go to give you the best access. Okay, once you've got your tire off, your wheel's cranked all the way to one side, there are two bolts you're going to need to pay attention to. These two right here that are holding the caliper to the caliper bracket. And these two bolts right here are 14 millimeter. You're going to want to take off the one on the bottom specifically so you can rotate up this caliper and get at the brake pads that are attached to the brake uh, caliper bracket right here behind it. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if, how tight these are. <coughs> Not very tight at all. Didn't need the breaker bar on that, but it's always good to have one. As you can see now, we can just rotate up this caliper right here and get at our brake pads. What we're going to do with our caliper is hook it up with this bungee cord to our strut up here. And what that's going to do is keep any pressure off of our brake line behind it right here. You don't want any kinks or any damage to get to that brake line. So be very, very careful of the brake line at all times. Okay, simply take a flathead screwdriver and let's pop this brake pad out between the rotor and the brake pad there and it should just pop right out for you. Do the same thing with the back side. Next thing we're going to pay attention to are these clips. Now with your new brake pads you get new clips and you're going to want to replace these. The pad on the interior against the the caliper piston here is going to have a, your brake wear indicator. Now you'll get some new ones in your package of new brake pads here. Don't forget to put that on. Down here at the bottom and the top where the bolts for the caliper come in is your guide pin. You're going to want to pop that out and give it a nice clean and put some new grease on it. It's always good to have a can of brake cleaner handy when you're doing this. Check the pin for where this one looks perfect. Now we can't just take the entire caliper out so we can get at that upper guide pin. But make sure you are extremely careful with that brake line. Another nice thing to do is to clean up these slots where your clips sit in. Get down in here in the grooves with some brake cleaner and just give it a nice clean. So everything sits together smoothly. Okay, so what we like to do is put this anti-seize right here where the brake pad is going to ride on these clips. You just put a tiny little bit on there, move it around with your finger and you're all set. Get your clip back in. And here on the top clip, just a little bit where that brake pad is going to ride. Next thing is to take our new wear clip here and pop it on to the new brake pad. Goes right on the corner here by the tab. Might take a little to get it on, but it'll pop on. Now since our pads were worn down pretty low, we're going to need to compress this piston back. You should have to do that anyway, but ours were fairly low, so you can use several tools to do that. You can use a brake 
compression, uh, piston compression tool, and you can also use just a normal C-clamp or a pair of channel locks, or I like these quick clips, these quick grip Irwin uh, clamps right here. After your piston is compressed back into your caliper, let's get our new brake pads on and button it up and we'll be all set to go. If you don't have one, a torque wrench is a really great thing to have because a lot of these bolts on vehicles need to be torqued to the specific foot pounds that uh, the manufacturer recommends. In this case, on these caliper bolts here, it's 20 foot pounds. So if I didn't mention before, during a brake job, sometimes you replace the rotors. These rotors happen to be in really great shape. You can feel the rotor surface here where the brake pads engage it and see if there are any ridges. This one is nice and smooth. You can do two different things. You can replace them or have them turned at an auto parts store, which usually doesn't cost that much. And actually brake rotors really don't cost that much to start with. But in this case, we're good to go. Now that we've got this front, first front side done for you, I'm going to run around the other side, do the other one, and then we'll take you to the back and we'll show you how to replace those. All right, everyone, we got those fronts done with no problem. Now it's onto our rears. Let's get our tire off or our wheel off. And it's basically the same process, but we're gonna walk you through it. Back here, the caliper is much, much smaller, but we've got the same 14 millimeter bolts in the back here on the top and the bottom of the caliper. Now you can see those bolts right here, and then there's one on the bottom as well. There's plenty of space under here, so just break them loose with your breaker bar. All right, guys, on these rear calipers, this, these bolts are the same as the pin. They're, they're integrated together. So you can pull that one out and clean it off, and we're going to pull the top one out and clean it off, and we're going to hang our caliper up, as we did before, with a bungee cord so that we do not damage our brake line. Same as the front, we're going to just get a screwdriver in here, a flathead screwdriver. We're going to pry these pads off and they should pop right out. There we go. And of course, just like before, we're going to clean and re-grease our pins. Just like on the front, we've got these uh, higher end ceramic, all ceramic brake pads for some added extra stopping power. So as you can see, the last brakes that they had on this thing had an extra spacer clip right here that was sat against the caliper. On these new ones, you don't need that. It's got the, this extra wear pad here that clips over the top. No need to add these back on. Oddly enough though, the wear clip here did not come with the new brake pads. So I'm gonna take the clip off the old one and see if it fits on the new. So just like the fronts, everyone, we're just going to pop our clip here from the bottom, replace our clip, and we're going to add that anti-seize, just a touch of it, right there, where our brakes will slide through. A little bit of that anti-seize where those pads will ride, and pop it back into place. Once we get our clips back in, just pop in your new pad to the front and back. Simple as that. All right, time to compress our piston back into the caliper. Same technique as before. All right, as soon as our piston is depressed on the caliper, we're going to pop it back on over our new pads here and replace those pins and we should be good to go.
All right, once you get these pins back in here, remember to crank it down to the proper torque for your vehicle. In this case, 20 foot pounds. So Ariel, this is how you change the brake pads yeah. on mommy's car. And most cars are very, very similar nowadays. So now you know how to do it and you can learn from daddy more in the future, right? Oh yeah. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. You guys didn't see it, but she's been sitting here off camera watching me do this and watching how to fix things. And that's really important if you're on a homestead or you're trying to be more self-sufficient is to teach your children these valuable skills. We're so happy you're here with us. We're so happy that more people are subscribing every day and we just passed that 15,000 subscriber mark. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, share it. And if I didn't cover something, please tell me in the comment section below. This is a solid brake job without the rotors and I hope I explained everything the best I could. Did you learn something today, Ariel? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. So. Don't forget, head on over to countrylivingexperience.com. Go visit us on our Amazon store. We've got a lot of tools there that we love. And Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine yards. Share us on social media. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.